in this video we learn that new data type sql variant that now supporting in our sql server so this one we can use for that column definition also parameters variable or return type of any functions so now we can use it's not a specific it's going to store integer it's every time we can change that value and it's going to work for us so maybe one place we can use as integer other place we can use as a care other place might be we can use as float so it's going to support all of them no need to define there and how we wanted to use dynamically we can use that now we can move to sql server to see that how we can do that first i will declare one variable even sql variant okay now i will try to set that value here even select that so now if i execute now we can see that we are getting one two three and now if i change that value to a c i will try to execute this so now we are getting a b c as well so now first thing what i will do I will do like this whatever we have previously and then we have one more thing here that we can try to see select that is called SQL repository so now one of that SQL variant property is there that it will give us that base type so what is that base type also we have that one more called same thing we will do it here that is called max length so we can check that max length as well of this one okay so now if we execute it we can see that now it's coming output as one two three in type and length of four so same thing if I go ahead and change it here to ABC and okay. So now if I execute this one, so now we can see that it's taking varchar length of three. Now if we go ahead and add in alphanumeric, so we can see that now varchar max length. What is that length of that value? So it's returning a six and ABC. So in the same way, we can do all of this. So now if I try to create that variable, oh, sorry, create that table and we can try to see that how we can do. So we can go ahead and do that. So we can create table. table. one then we can pass that value as suppose zero one and sql variant and column two as integer okay so now we'll create it it's got created successfully so now we'll try to insert value and insert into F1 and now I will pass this time one two three comma one okay and now we will try to insert this one okay. so insert into this is okay. Sorry, no, I missed that value. So now we can put that. So one now got inserted. Now I will try to select. Now we can see that it's one, two, three, and one. So now I will try to insert in this one. 
x y z and number being set as two. See that has been inserted. Now I will go ahead and insert here numeric decimal type by four and three. So now if I go ahead and we will try to execute this one. So we can see that now it's storing all those data type in column one because I have declared a SQL variant. So I hope you understand that what is that new data type came and how we can use that. And you can explore it more, then you will get to know more knowledge. And if any doubt, please let me know. Thank you.